How's it going everybody? I just wanted to make a really quick video on this new, on this neat feature. I just figured out that STL has, um, basically makes it so it can work with your computer to see if your mouse um, drags and drops a file into the STL window. Um, here's a simple SDL2 uh, window file that I quickly have. It's just a, the main function and it generates the window along with the event. Uh, the events for keyboard and mouse stuff, but it's also for the drag and drop for the file. And we create a window right here. And this is the command that we're using to build it uh, as simple, just the SDL2 library. And as we can see, we have this little window right here. It says subscribe. And if you click X, it'll close because that's what the event is that we have. So now we're going to be reading in a file. And to be doing that, we're going to have a char, a pointer to a char. Um, it's going to be whatever file, whatever file directory that you just drop into it. Um, so we're just going to use that as a variable to keep track of it. We're also going to enable an SDL event, which is for the drop file. And we're just going to say enable. And so right here in this example, it's a switch. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use a switch statement, switch case, or if you're using if statements, checking the events. Um, it's basically going to work the exact same way. If you know how to do it with if, you can see the setup for the SDL quits and you're able to do it with if as well. But here's case, it's just called SDL drop, prof, drop file. And this is how you get it. We're just setting the file. It's also a pointer to a character and it's event drop file. And then just remember to break at the end. Um, we're also gonna be freeing the char. Uh, we can do that with just SDL free. And so that's going to work, um, but we want to do something with the file. Uh, just in this case, we're just going to print out the file that was dropped. Uh, we're going to print it out as a string, and it's as simple as that. Um, so let's go ahead and build it again. The build script is just this script right here, and let's run it. So now it's going to work a little bit differently. As you can see, it still looks the same, but let's uh, take a file, and as you can see, right there, printed the file. Um, that was a directory. Um, there's that video. Um, that was a video. I think I, yeah, there's a YouTuber, Optimus. I downloaded that video because I was testing out um, OpenAI's Whisper um, for generating a uh, text from audio. But as you can see, it works with all these files. You can go ahead and dump them all in, and there it is. It has all of them. But uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, you just enable it right here. And then in your events, you just check for it. And then whatever you want to do with it, you can either do it here or you can set the stuff up here and then do something else afterwards. Um, for example, in my little game engine project that I'm working on, my last video, I believe, was about it. We'll quickly look at it. Um, one example that I have, let's open up a browser, a folder first. Okay, and now, example, image. Okay, let's, um, so we'll just take a quick second. But I'm gonna build it, and this is something that I was able to do with it. Build example. Oh, my bad. I just wasn't prepared, so I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. Um, so this is just a little tool for parsing an image, a sprite sheet, um, so we can see all the different rectangles in the sprite sheet. But as you can see, here is an asset pack that I have that I bought on. And here is all the other sprites. Of course, you know, the bottom is distorted, but it's as simple as that. Um, I'm using the same drag and drop to work with it. And then of course, when I drag and drop, I also check the end of the file to see if it's an image or not, uh, to see if it has PNG or um, JPEG or JPG or whatnot at the end of the file. Um, all the formats that are supported by SDL2 image. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was something cool. Um, it was pretty useful. It was useful for me, and I thought it would be useful for other people. So thanks again for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, and see you again next time. Bye.